Hello, um, I'm going to build a Microsoft Teams Rooms. Um, I received a very beautiful device called Yelink. Uh, nice, nice unit. So I have, uh, let, me, let me talk to myself here. So I have a sound bar, the Yelink sound bar here, which is, goes under your monitor. Um, I have two monitors, right? It's, it's, it's ready to go. There's nothing is plugged in right now. Uh, Microsoft Teams Rooms requires Windows 10 and that runs an Intel MOOC. Um, on, on this device, so this is a small Intel Nook, uh, full Windows 10. Um, this is a yelling camera set, um, and this is your touch panel at your conference center, sorry, conference table, and really slick, it's just really small. Uh, you can actually put it up and down like this, and it's, it's all USB, so it's not Ethernet, it's a USB, go back, goes back to your Intel Nook. Um, I have a, a share device which is also goes to Intel Nook, it's a USB. So basically it sits in your conference table, um, maybe underneath and then the SDMI input or you know, whatever, the, the D, mini DP input. Also I think future there's a wireless sharing also is coming so I don't know when that's going to be available. And also there is a requires a microphone so this has a beautiful two wireless microphones. You can put it on and it just charges by itself and then to connect this microphone to the unit there's a, the dongle, the USB dongle you put it in and it just, it just connects automatically and that's it, so very simple setup. So what I'm going to do is uh, just connect this and see how that works out. So there's two monitors, I'm going to connect to the US, sorry, SDMI first. So I'm going to plug this two to SDMI on the back of this Intel Nook and by the way this Intel Nook has the, the the cover, the case, uh, you can actually put it in and mount it back of your TV or under your conference table or whatever it fits, right? So it's not a, not a big deal. I'm not, you know, using that for now. Um, let's connect the wires. The two monitors connected, and I need to connect this this console right back to this uh, this USB long USB. You can hide it under the table or wire, so the wall, whatever it is. So for now, I'm just going to plug into the, the Intel Nook USB. Um, and then I'm also going to connect this wireless share. This is required to, to run this uh, system because it's, it's a presentation device and it's, it's called a dock too. Um, so I'm going to just leave it here. And all these wires, this, you know, you can forget it. It's all, you can hide it. So I'm going to connect the USB. All right, so plug it in. Just plug it in. So that's done. And now it's time to connect. So the audio device, this is, um, sorry, the microphone. So microphone dongle goes back into the camera, um, literally plug it in, that's all you have to do. And we need a USB cable, there's no USB, um, that connects this camera back to the Windows 10. So as you see, everything goes back to the Windows 10 um, device. So we're going to, come on. Okay, so Windows 10. So back up there's a more two years report, plug it in. What else? Um, you can charge this with uh, my, the micro USB charger, like this, and leave it as a charger, hide it, wherever you want to hide it. But as for now, this is fully charged. And this is, this, this is, only, this is the only thing, yeah, it will sit on your conference table. Everything else is hidden. The camera goes on top of your monitor. So I'm just going to leave it here, I'm not mounted. Uh, now, it's time to mount. All right, anything missing? Nope. So this wire is connected, camera's here, and audio, right? So this is sound bar, this is a, the audio jack, and there's a line out on the back, plug it in. So this is beautiful, right? So line out, so it's not a USB to the camera, sorry, the speaker. So you have to line out, you can connect to your ceiling uh, speakers or any other DSPs, audio DSPs you want to use. So that's just an audio piece. Now. I need to power two, two things, right? One is camera and one is the Intel uh, Nook. So, I believe this is the Intel Nook. And this is, goes back to the camera. And this, this is the screen. So, this is, this is the only thing that sits on your conference table. Let's say um, how long it's going to take to fire up. And ready to join the meeting. Yep, camera is working. Okay, it literally takes about 
if it's the wiring, the wiring is only, the, you know, hiding wire is only the effort you may have to take a little bit to kind of uh, make it really nice, but connecting the cables literally takes about 10-15 minutes, that's it. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, I like the microphone wireless ones, it's, it's, there's nothing to wire. Um, um, other than that, so let's see, is my monitor turned on? Let me power on this monitor, yep. Okay, all right, so it's coming up. So, as you can see, the, the, this is a um, USB to the Intel Milk, so this is kind of console for your meeting. Um, it's signing in, so it's signing into Teams. The meeting is already scheduled using Outlook as, as you already, always do. As long as you have a Teams uh, installed and you have an Outlook uh, client that is scheduled a meeting, invite this the unit as signed in account, whatever account you used. I think you watched the previous video, how to uh, make a, the room account. If you watch that video, um, that's the account you're gonna use. So if you go to settings, um, I need to put a password here. So I'm just gonna hide the password for now. And once you put the password in, uh, let me show you some few things. In the account settings, just put that the account you created uh, according to previous video. Supported meeting mode. So right now the Skype Business and Microsoft Teams as a default. Um, um, all this also supports Skype for Business meetings. Uh, Bluetooth beginning on, so you can join a meeting uh, as a content only mode. For example, you have a laptop or your mobile phone. You try to join the meeting. It detects there is a nearby. This room unit is available, so you actually can join um and then as a join as a content only mode and everything connects through this unit automatically and then there's a themes you can change there's a comfort there's a audio and video whatever selections of the devices here um and dual monitor mode so i have a two monitors dual monitor any theme you want to change so let's say i want to change to purple paradise and you can see instant change there you can save it and the window settings so that's um that's it and save and exit. So this is um, the room display is unplugged. Okay, so maybe I didn't put it enough. So let's see. Yeah. So that was it. The the SDMA was not. I didn't put it all the way. So you can see the fully two two screens is enabled. The one thing I like this this system is this. There is a small. I don't know if you see the control at the the right side of the bottom. If you click on that. This is a camera control, so you can see the camera. Um, hold on. Yeah, you can actually control the camera from the same touch panel, so you know you don't need a second remote. Okay, um, that's that's awesome. So I'm gonna join. The, so so when you walk in, the the user experience is when you walk in, um, all the user is gonna see is just just one wire sitting on the table, and hit join button. Once you join. Um, the meeting is joined. So there's another user joined to this meeting and that's all you're gonna do. I'm gonna share the content and see what happens now. All right, so from another computer, I just shared the, the content. As you can see, the, the content is in one monitor and the video is in another, another feed and just just works it's, it's literally uh, as simple as it is thank you take care bye